Marvel has had a lot of different fight scenes throughout the years. Which one's the best? Let's talk about it. Welcome back everybody to another video. Today we are going to stop and rank my top 10 favorite Marvel fights. So there is one rule with this list and that rule is that it can't be this like giant full out war like an Infinity War battlefield or an Endgame battlefield. The only exception to this rule is that I'll allow things like Thor cap like versus the Thanos thing or like if it's a common one target, not just a full on war. So I just wanted to say that before I get into this because there's gonna be some that aren't on this list. I'm trying to focus on just like one or two or three characters fighting one target. So right before we dive into this, if you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button, letting me know that you enjoy the content that we put out here. And thank you guys so much for the recent support and all the, the videos. And I just, I really appreciate you guys. It's, I could never thank you guys enough, but uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Just barely cracking the top 10, we have the Mysterio illusion fight. I've said before in this channel that I'm not, I don't like Far From Home. I think it's one of the worst Spider-Man movies. However, if there's a moment in this movie where I think it shines, it is where you kind of forget that the drones are doing all the projecting. And that is the case in this fight when you get to see Spider-Man fully like fight Mysterio in an illusion now if only it was like magic and not just drone technology that probably would have brought it up for me but it's still pretty cool to see it happen and go down um, and Mysterio use his like illusion kind of thing to mess with Peter I really enjoyed that element of this fight a lot I doubt we'll ever get a real Mysterio but maybe we will in Spider-Man 2 Fingers crossed. At number nine, we have the Hulk versus Thor, or Gladiator Hulk versus Thor fight in Thor Ragnarok. When Hulk and Thor meet in the arena, Thor thinks that it's going to be, oh no, I'm not gonna fight him, and they just start brawling it out. This is the moment where Thor kind of gets his uh his lightning without his hammer for like kind of like the first time almost. He gets like that, like he's gonna die, and he just like sends him up i really enjoy this fight i think it's comedic but it also works well like brute wise like you have hulk smashing into the wall and thor's a pretty powerful character as well so it's fun to see them two go at it coming in at number eight i actually have the guardians of the multiverse versus ultron so this is a group of five people versus one target i really enjoy this fight they're all just trying to get the stones from him that's really their common goal here and to watch them all kind of work together these people that should know how to work together especially like eric killmonger eggy carter and star lord t'challa like what is going on i love the way that they like each each use some of their own skills in dark doctor strange i think it's really really neat um, just watching them go back and forth. There's a specific moment in this fight where Peggy and uh, Black Widow are like going back and forth, like trading shots with the shields. And then they like both hit Ultron going this way. And I love that part. I just think it's really neat. Coming in at number seven, we have Hulk versus Abomination in The Incredible Hulk. This movie definitely is not the best, but... If we're just talking about fight scenes here, watching the Hulk take two cars on his fist as boxing gloves and then just beat the ever, ever living snot out of Abomination and then Abomination has like his chain thing, it's cool. And then like they both just wreck enough havoc in Harlem to probably like cause it to rebuild like forever. It's just a really fun fight watching two huge brutes go at it. That's really all there is to it. At number six, we have Ant-Man versus Yellow Jacket. So yes, this is your kind of typical CGI fight. Very similar to like what the first Iron Man did with Iron Monger. The reason I chose this fight is not only because they're small like Ant-Man, but it's very just, they had a lot of fun with it. You have, th they fight, the final fight of this movie takes place on a mini train table. And you get to throw Thomas the Tank Engine at Ant-Man 
and he's dodging all these different things on a toy train table. I don't think it gets more fun and inventive than that in a fight. And for that, I really would love to see more of that kind of fighting in the Ant-Man series. But now that, you know, Ant-Man has had its third movie, I don't know that we will. But I always go back to this and just was like, wow, that was like a lot of fun. So definitely earned its place here. Coming in at number five, I have Cap and Bucky versus Iron Man when he learns who killed his parents. Even though, you know, he maybe he should have known a lot sooner. I still don't think he should have tried to attack Bucky because, you know, it wasn't really his fault. But the fight, not only is it just a great fight in general, you have two guys who are best friends, you know, beating someone up who they thought was their, you know, friend. Iron Man's going after the two people that he thought were with him. And it's just, it, it becomes a very emotionally staked battle very quickly. It, it becomes like personal very personal and there's even there's so many great shots that come out of this but of course the most iconic one is when you have iron man doing his blast while cap and they like it goes in between like the creak of the door it looks great it's a great i, I think like almost every like wallpaper company in america has used that shot as like a wallpaper or something like that um, and for good reason too because it looks awesome But other than that, I just think that the fight has a lot of different like Interpretations whether you're looking at it from Bucky side or Cap side or even Iron Man's side So it's it's definitely a fight to be remembered coming in at number four. We have Doctor Strange versus Thanos I absolutely knew that I was going to put this on this list when I started making it and whenever I think of Thanos at first I always think of a very brute, you know, you don't think of intellectual at first. And then you go back to this fight and you realize how intellectual he was to not just have the stones, but to know how to use them in the proper way to use them against Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange obviously being a genius in the mystical arts and he really gives Doctor Strange a run for his money. And not only does he give Doctor Strange a run for his money, but he also loses and who's to say if dr strange lost on purpose but like you know because he knew the future and everything but it was one hell of a fight that he puts up even making clones of himself but thanos is just a little bit smarter using this soul stone obviously only one of them is going to have a soul and to me that is a pretty just i don't know i think all the different things that happen in that fight are really neat and just the overall presentation of how it happens is really cool as well. Coming in at number three, we have Cap, Thor, and Iron Man versus Thanos. This is when Thanos makes his return in Avengers Endgame and they all try to go after him to make sure that he stays dead. They do not want him around. He could ruin everything for them. And this time he doesn't just want to eliminate half of the population. He wants to start over completely. Of course, a lot of different things happen in this, and I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll mention the big thing first. Yes, Cap gets to wield Mjolnir for the first time ever. Uh, I still remember what it was like being in theaters that night when it happened, and we all just lost our minds, something that they had been setting up since Avengers Age of Ultron. And we finally got that payoff in the final fight, and to see it happen in such a under, very tight pressure circumstance just made it so much better. Aside from that, you also get to see a couple of other really cool things like, like Iron Man and Thor working together with Thor doing his blast and Iron Man learning from the first Avengers that if he has like a cannon and like, like a, almost like an input in the back of his back to put out that energy, like a surge of energy. And I thought that was really neat personally. And as my runner up, I have Shang-Chi versus the Mandarin. I know a lot of you, I know a lot of people's favorite fight in this movie is the bus scene. And while I do love the bus scene, I personally gravitate towards this scene. To me, it's just a little bit more emotional and it's much more, like, I feel more connected to it. My biggest thing for this that I do want to talk about first is just not only the emotional scale, but how awesome the choreography is. You know, they have the Ten Rings, and who's to say they couldn't have just easily been like, oh, you know, big fireball, big things like that, and they could have done it very simple. But instead, they really worked on the choreography 
my favorite moment that I always talk about in this fight is when is when Shang Chi he he has like his five rings and his and his dad and him are about to go at it and he literally makes stairs and the second that he comes off of each of those rings using it as a stairs they immediately attach to his ankle and foot giving power to the kick that he's about to do while his dad puts him on his wrist and blocks the shot I think that is such a really neat idea and I would love to see them experiment with this going forward in the MCU. That fight in particular made me so excited to see what fight scenes will be like watching Shang-Chi in like maybe Avengers Secret Wars or Avengers The King Dynasty or just seeing Shang-Chi in general in the future. I'm really excited to see what they can do with his fight scenes and I'll always remember him versus his dad. But easily coming in at number one, you guys all know I'm a huge Winter Soldier fan. Cap versus Winter Soldier highway scene. It is perhaps one of the best fight scenes for me in all of cinema. And it just becomes, it's such a not CGI'd fight. It's pure, they, they worked on the choreography for weeks. Before I even get into the actual how it was orchestrated, I want to talk about the emotional stakes. They, they go from this to not knowing each other thing. Oh, you know, it's this assassin that I have to defeat to this is when Bucky's identity gets revealed. And that's a huge moment between Cap, you know, a friend that he thought he lost years ago. So, and Cap is, you know, a very one of a kind person. He was in the ice and he got defrosted. He's the he's America's hero. Bucky is the complete opposite of that. He got put in the ice for Hydra's manipulation. And to see them both not only meet face to face, like the opposite meets the opposite, but to know that they were once best friends and he it's almost like he doesn't even recognize his best friend at first. And that's a pretty scary thought. Other than that, you get some of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat in this, in the whole MCU. You get him, you know, flipping, the, one of my favorite parts is when he flips the knife. But the cool part is that they really show off what's happening with the hand movements. A lot of movies would cut away at this moment, but you really get to see like Cap blocking each shot and they just keep, keep trading punches. Like Cap will throw him against this, but then he'll take him by the neck and like throw him down to the ground. And they just kind of keep trading punches. And that's something that I really enjoy. So let me know what you guys thought of my top 10 favorite MCU fights. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What are your top 10 MCU fights? Or just leave me a few down in the comments below. I'd love to have that conversation with you guys. And also let me know what video or what top 10 you would like to see from me next. Until next time, guys. Peace.